grieving soul. May the moon's rays trace the scenes enacted here long ago. you so. These two years I've thought of nothing but you. Ever since you passed away. <laughs> You're not still fretting about this morning's missive, are you? You mustn't. You made the right decision. You're always so lenient with people. But sometimes you need to be firm, too. That's a king's duty. Everybody believes in you. You must stand tall and proud. Ascantha is your country. Oh yes, I have news. The innkeeper's dog has had a puppy. He wants us to think of a name. Is that... me? Yes, I remember this. It was the spring before last. So, this is a memory from the past? <laughs> a puppy, you say? What do you think? No doubt you've already thought of a good name for it. <laughs> it's a secret. Why? If you've thought of a name, then I'm sure it's splendid. Tell me. Surely you have a suggestion too. A name for this puppy. But I'm sure yours is... Shush now, Pavan. I think any name you came up with would be simply perfect. My dear king, you're a wise and kind man. You should follow your own instincts. <laughs> I was planning to use the name you thought of. That's all I decided. Yes, she was always like that, always giving me so much encouragement. Sasha, why? <laughs> Sasha, why are you always so strong? Because my mother gives me strength. Your mother? But she passed away years ago. I never told you, but I was very timid as a child, so weak and afraid. And every day, my mother would try hard to encourage me. When she died, I was so sad and lonely. But then I realized, if I went back to my old, weak self, I would have nothing left of my mother at all. It would be just as if she had never existed. I realized I had to be strong, that I must remember her words of encouragement and everything she taught me. That way, she'll live on inside me for always, forever. Sasha, you're right. I should be more like you. <laughs> Shall we go out onto the terrace? The weather's so nice today. It would be lovely to enjoy the breeze together. Look! 
Your country stretches before us as far as the eye can see. Oh, Ascantha is so beautiful. Yes. Beautiful, Sasha. So beautiful. My darling king, for people to live their lives happily, you must be strong. I remember. Everything you ever told me lives on inside my heart. Forgive me, Sasha. I finally opened my eyes. I'm sorry for being so sad and lonely. At last, I finally awoken from my long and terrible nightmare. Never again will I forget the things Sasha told me. It felt like a dream, but I believe in what I saw. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to you and Emma, I've finally woken up from an unbearable nightmare. Now I can be a proper king to my people again. I cannot thank you enough. If there is ever anything I can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. I swear I will do anything in my power to repay you. Anything at all I can do to help. Farewell, my friends. May fortune ride with you on your continuing journey. I hope we will meet again soon.
Right for some, isn't it? No doubt King Pavan treated you to plenty of fine food and drink, you lucky toads. The princess and I have been waiting, you know, stuck here outside town. And the deer isn't much for conversation these days, hmm? I know how you feel, Grandad. If only you weren't so... Uh... Green, eh? Maybe we could get you into town, and you could have a drink or something. I ain't exactly a looker myself. I know what it's like to be discriminated against. Wait, go. I've got an idea. Yeah? The town I used to live in ain't too far south of here. How about we head off down there, eh? Sure. Pickham ain't no rose garden. But it's in the middle of nowhere, right? Even a strange old geezer like him would fit in. No problem. Old Grandad here'll be able to get himself a drink. And we might get a clue about where that dull Magus has got to and all. There's a bloke there who knows everything about everything. We call him Brains. He's a mate of mine. He'll know something. Dead, sir. See? Two birds with one stone, eh? I ain't just a pretty face. Come on, let's get going south. Pick them, here we come. 